Hello canoeist Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with a Main Guide, and we're going to start a small series on setting up a dining fly. How to set it up, how to work it in a storm with the different lines and what to do um, to keep your tarp dry, shed in the water so it doesn't rip in a storm, things like that. And today we're going to start with our friggin' rigging. So this this tarp here is 22 years old, just so you know, and you'll see what in good shape it is by the way it's set up. We're going to start with the rigging. So the ridge line is marked with this nice rainbow parachute cord. And when I <clears throat> am on a trip, and when, especially when I was guiding little dudes, um, I used to say, grab the rainbow boys, we're racing a storm front. So the fact that it was color coded and you could always find the ridge line because of the rainbow parachute cord. That helped a lot. The corners are all marked with the bright pink parachute cord. So as this comes out of the stuff sack, um, when you see bright pink, you know it's a corner. I also um, have this black line. It's on the inside and it's on the outside. If I had to figure out a way that people could help me and I'm not sounding like I'm yelling at them. Putting a dining fly up never happens is this casual, slow, hey, let's do this for fun. All right. It's quick. You're racing a storm. You're fighting winds. You've got the water trickling down your sleeve or the back of your neck the whole time you're trying to do this. Okay. So it's got to be fast. So I drew these lines so that I could help people explain. Explain to people that when when this the angle of this line matches the black line, your tarp is going to shed water, okay? If it's cocked off to the side like this or up too high, you're going to have a swimming pool, okay? So this was a picture's worth a thousand words. Anybody I told match this line, this pink line to this black line and tie it off to something, they could and that they the angle would shed the rain. The secret is to get this angle to shed rain off a tarp. It's not to tie this unbelievable knot that won't move and it'll shed rain. You've got to have the angle right. So that took me a long time to figure out, but it works like a charm. So each of these lines is secured to the tarp using a bowline. The lines are between probably 20 and 30 feet long. The rainbow lines are the ones that get the clove hitch over the pole because that's the ridge line. And over the next couple of segments, we're going to talk you through setting up this dining fly step by step by step, which is why I wanted to start where nobody ever starts with the friggin riggin. So I look forward to sharing with you how to secure a fire um, to feed a dozen people. Guides are really specific. There's no guide that doesn't have an absolute system for doing this because we live and die by it. We're not going to feed a dozen people in the middle of nowhere in the pouring rain without it. I'm Lisa Dehart. You've just spent three minutes with a main guide.